Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss this lead code hard problem. Data stream is disjoint intervals. So let us understand what the equation says. Um, so you are given this summary ranges uh, class in which this constructor is initializing this object with an empty stream. You, you have to add a number. Uh, this is this function. It adds the integer value to the stream. And int get intervals is a function which is going to return a summary of the integers in the stream currently as a disjoint list of intervals. So basically, like what you have to do is, um, like let us suppose, let us suppose you are given this stream. This let us say this add num function is called with value one then you and after that if get intervals function is called then you would have to return one comma one now if add num is added with two then you have and after which get intervals is called then you have to return one comma two you just need to combine the consecutive list of consecutive elements like if if 1, 2, 3 are there, then you have to return 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We did solve its easy variant um, in the previous video. So you could watch that for understanding what this question says. So basically what I am going to do in this question is like I am creating this map. And what this map shows like uh, this key value represents the starting of the interval. And this uh, value represents the end of this interval so let us say at any point of of the time our map is like this now a value comes like add nums one so where we would add that one so what I am doing is like first of all I am iterating over this map and um, using this function I am calling this lower bound. Lower, what does this lower bound functions return is uh, lower bound returns the greater than or equal to value um, that you are sending as an attribute. So for example I am sending this value 1 in this lower bound function so it would return me this 3. It would return the iterator uh, which which would be map dot begin that would be pointing towards this three so that only i have done like in this case like only your iterator is pointing towards map dot begin so if i'm checking like if my iterator first iterator value is equal to this value plus one which is not in our case our value is one but our iterator first value is three so we won't be going into this if condition if it would have been 2 2 comma 4 then you could combine this interval with this and you could set this 1 to 4 but it's not our in our case so we would move in this else position and our iterator first which is 3 3 is also not equal to 1 so we are going to set this 1 as an independent interval in this map so now your map would look like this this one comma one would be one arrow one would be inserted into your map now there may be a scenario when your when your all values are smaller than the smaller than your current value so for example if you get this 11 if you get this add nums 11 if you get this 11 then there may be two cases like if your map is already empty then you would push it in the similar way into this map like your map is empty then you would push this 11 11 arrow 11 if your map is not empty then you would check like if your if there is a value present which is less than 11 minus 1 which is equal to this in this map then then i could combine that value with it what I have done here is like I am checking from the reverse now like like if my second value is equal to value minus one then I could combine that interval with my current value 
if it's less than equal if it's less than value then i won't be combining it i will be just uh, making it as a separate interval and this case uh, this else case occurs when you try to insert an element for example 3 comma 4 7 comma 9 and 10 to 10 error 11 if you try to insert this 5 then this uh, else case would happen so you would be checking like if you could combine two intervals like 3 to 4 this 5 arrow 5 is there if you could combine it with let us say uh, 6 comma 8 then you, you could have combined these three intervals so what i am checking like um, if i am checking like if my value plus 1 is equal to this my start value or end value minus 1 is equal to the previous iterator end value then I would marking my previous iterator second value as iterator second and then I would be erasing this map and if it's not then I'll be checking like if I could left combine this like I could merge only these two intervals so yeah they are mergeable so I will be doing this um, I would be marking it and I would be erasing it and I then if that is also not the case then I would be checking if I could right merge this uh, like if there was any situation like this if um, 3 comma 3 6 comma 7 and this 5 would have come then I 5 um, this would have come then I could right merge it so I then my map would have been looking like this so for that I am doing this and if that is not the case then i would be checking like if i then if it's going to be a separate interval or not and if it's if it's also that not the case then i don't have to push it into my map so this is a very like good problem i would say like here the major catch was of using this ordered map as for storing this intervals and then I am iterating over the map and then I am pushing the iterator first and iterator second into the map and then I am returning this vector. So thanks for watching this video and if you have any queries you could post it into the comment section. I will try to answer that.